Why is it going to be different than Linus's build? That's a good question. A PC that shows no cables in the front. That is the dream of Gigabyte Norris's partnership with Main Gear on Project Stealth. But Linus kind of poked holes in that dream with his latest video release on building a Project Stealth system. I understand why Linus did what he did, but that doesn't mean there isn't hope with the current iteration of Project Stealth and the idea behind it. So here it is, here's Project Stealth, and Project Stealth is a kit that you can basically order from Gigabyte. It's about $1,300. It includes a motherboard, it includes the GPU, and it includes the case. Basically, Linus built it, and then as he was putting this thing together, he, he essentially kind of freaked out on it, and then in the end, drilled massive holes into the case. Unlike Linus, I got to look at the case and plan something, not just use what was given to him by Gigabyte Marketing. And you know, let's just be honest, what they sent just wasn't very well planned. If you use the right parts with Project Stealth, the build could be done that not just performs from a game standpoint, but also performs thermally. So with that challenge in mind, let's see how the build came out. This case actually comes as a kit. So the motherboard and everything comes pre-installed. Like there are no connections on the motherboard at all. So all the fan cables, there's no fan, no CPU, no 24 pin. It does come stock with a single fan at the bottom and a fan at the top, but we are going to be replacing all of the fans inside of the case. We'll have exhaust and two intake NFA 12s. And then at the front, we're gonna be replacing all of these fans with Noctua NFF 12s. For us to get good temps, we're expecting all the air to come from the top. It's actually pre-cable managed even from the back. But you can actually see all of the connections to the motherboard are actually on the back, right? So that's why there's no cables. Here's your 24 pin, your USB 3.2, your USB-C. Um, but the main reason I wanted to show this is because we literally have to undo all of this stuff to take the front cover off and put on the fans. Okay, there we go. Why is it gonna be different than Linus's build? That's a good question. We are gonna be putting in an Intel Core i7-12700K. If everything goes well, I actually think we could step up uh, the Noctua NH-U12A, probably one of the best air coolers outside of maybe the Ice Giant. We're using a very special edition. This is the Project Stealth edition of the RTX 3070. Power connectors are on the back. If you guys will not see this get installed today, it's already actually in the build. This is the Aorus Gen 4 7000 SSD. This is their newest one. It's a two terabyte NVMe SSD. 5200 megahertz, 32 gigs of DDR4, uh, DDR5 RAM. Uh, we are gonna put in some XPG Prime ARGB LED strips so you can see inside the case better. I can't see anything, it's, it's so boring. Like that's what we're, that's what we're gonna fix. Uh, they did send me a Gigabyte UD 1000 watt. This is their brand new one. And then it's the rest of the cooling. When we, we're, we're, now, we're going serious. Knock to it, baby. Yeah, let's go ahead and put our cover back on. Chromax fans are in. Okay, cool. So now we have all those cables in. That was a lot of work. There's a lot of work on the peels here. We are now cooking with gas, guys. Cooking with gas. We're gonna add a RGB strip. This is the Stealth Edition. If you look at the front of the card, you can actually see there's no power. The power is actually on the back. That's the slot, so I can plug in the cables for the GPU. Shoot. Jeez, I'm crow. So there it is right there. You guys ready? Here we go.
So how were temperatures in the case then, Roby? After all that, how did it actually perform? Well, with an air cooler and with strategic placement of Noctua AF fans, when we're sitting at a nice and temperate 29 at idle in closed case, and we put things fully under load, we saw things jump up to 75, which, Honestly, it's great. We actually undervolted and overclocked it and still were running very, very good temps. What about GPU, Roby? Well, GPU, it's a similar story. At idle, looking at 43 and popping up to 72 when we put the pedal to the metal. 72 has plenty of headroom. And in fact, if you did want to do some overclocking of the GPU, you absolutely could. Oh. And if you wanna know how good the build is that we built for gaming and all that sort of stuff, then stay tuned at the very end of the video for a full rundown of like the benchmarks and all that stuff in a bunch of popular titles if you want to. What about AIO cooling? You cannot top mount an AIO in this case. I thought you could, you can't. But what we do actually think is that you could do the same thing that we're doing here with air cooling with liquid cooling in this build. If you look at Man Gear site, look at how they have the placement for the fans. These become intake, this becomes exhaust. So your intake's from the back and your exhaust is at the front. I think if you did it the way that we had just described here on the site, that you would see temperatures very similar on their 12700K as ours. And we definitely, I would definitely suggest going overkill on your radiator, like a 360 millimeter or like overkill on your cooler like we did with the Noctua U12A to make sure that um, you're gonna get the maximum amount of cooling and make sure that the temperatures are actually very good. See, the idea for Project Stealth is cool. And if you really want to do a build using this kit, you can absolutely make something that is going to perform and stand out the way you want it to in this build. When people look at it like the literally half a million people on TikTok who saw this and were like, dang, that looks clean. You can absolutely do that with a build like this. Now, did Gigabyte make it easy? No. And am I flabbergasted like Linus was with the case choice for this build? Yes. But is it hopeless? And do you need to drill holes in the case like Linus did to really make something good and worthy of such a unique concept? No. If you approach this thing and plan for the shortcomings of the case, you can actually build something that both performs well in application games, but also thermally. It's not gonna be something you're really gonna go pair with something like a 12900K. Sure, it's possible, but with the Stealth Kit, when you purchase it from Gigabyte or even from Main Gear, 3070 is the highest GPU and the only GPU you can, you can get. And I also think you'd be fine with a 12600K or a 12600 or something lower, but at the high end, a 12700K and a 3070 is a great pair. Well, given all that, what did you guys think of Project Stealth after this review? I'm guessing you guys probably will. I think this is gonna be a very lit video for feedback and comments, but you know what? You could probably win a little cash in the process. First and foremost, you need to leave a quality comment down below, along with liking and subscribing to the channel. That's the stuff you need to do in order to win. Now, when I say quality comment, it doesn't need to be positive. It can be something you liked or didn't like about the video or the case. I know you guys have opinions, just something that maybe surprised you about the build of the video. Who cares? Just put something feedback wise down in the comments below. Just not, I deserve to win. Can I basically have this build that you made and spent all that time with or something else weird or lame? You also need to ensure we have a way to reach you via your YouTube profile like your email. So make sure you put your email in your YouTube profile because we will be giving away $25 to one lucky comment down below worldwide as long as you can accept PayPal or Venmo. Now, if you don't have your email in your YouTube profile and we can't tell you you won, therefore you can't win. So make sure you like, subscribe, you also have an email in your YouTube profile and leave a comment. Those are the things you need to do to win. So, what did you think of Project Stealth? Were you surprised by our attempts and benchmarks? I mean, especially after Linus's video, did you think this was even possible? Did you consider some alternative options when you think about cooling? Sometimes when you look at cases, you might say, oh, the front's you know blocked off or whatever it was. And does the idea of Project Stealth actually excite you? I'd love to know all that and more down in the comments below. Now, while you're down there, make sure you slap that subscribe button, whip that like button, and ring that notification bell so you get a notification each and every time we post a new video right here on Robitech. Did you know we have a live stream channel for special builds and events? We built this and benched it live on the channel. So check out at Robitech Live down in the description below so you can like and subscribe to know when we go live and do cool things like this and you don't miss awesome builds and experiences like this. Do you have questions about this case, Project Stealth, or anything else that are tech related? Then check out our amazing Discord server at discord.gg slash robotech filled with other tech and PC enthusiasts that love to share their thoughts and ideas on those very subjects. Are you looking for cheap tech? Then check out at robotech.com or at robotech deals on Twitter. We have our guy Tom scouring the internet for the best deals on all things tech from PC components to TVs and games. Finally, you can also follow me and my team on all the other socials at robotech everywhere. We hope you enjoyed this video and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.